Hello guys. Hi guys. We are Anna and Edward. And today uh, we are in uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. Japan. Scramble Square. One of the busiest uh, places in Japan. Our Tokyo journey kicks off in Shibuya, the city's vibrant heart of style and energy. We are diving into the famous Shibuya Scramble, checking out Don Quixote's quirky treasures and joining a lively neighborhood Maturi. Plus, a quiet stop at Meiji Jingu offers the serene forest escape, right in the middle of Tokyo's hustle. Finishing the day with the most delicious sushi prepared by an Itamae. So stay tuned and see how the day is going. By day, Shibuya is bustling with energy and filled with young fashionistas, students and tourists who come to see the famous Shibuya Scramble Crossing, where we are heading as well. How exciting! Why is this crossing so famous? Well, it's because it's regarded as one of the busiest crossings in the world. During peak times, an estimated of 2,500 to 3,000 people cross at each signal change and hundreds of thousands cross daily. This makes it a prime example of controlled chaotic foot traffic. You can see the scenery from above if you buy a coffee at the Starbucks located at the intersection or you can enjoy the chaos from Shibuya station free of charge. But don't miss all the fun and join the crowds in the daytime or at night, the experience will be amazing. Finally, we did it! <laughs> A few steps away from this crazy crossing outside Shibuya station, you'll find the famous Hachiko statue. It commemorates Hachiko, the loyal Akita dog who waited for his owner at the station every day, even after his owner's death. The statue has become one of Tokyo's most beloved meeting spots and a must-see for visitors. When in Shibuya, don't miss Don Quixote or Donkey, Japan's favorite wacky discount megastore. The Shibuya Donkey is a multi-floor, 24 hours shopping adventure stocked with everything from cosmetics to costumes, snacks to luxury goods. It's a maze of surprises where you can score essentials and strange finds at great prices. Don Quixote offers a duty-free section as well, that's why it's so popular among tourists. You can pick tax-free souvenirs, beauty products, electronics and traditional Japanese gifts. In the Shibuya Don Quixote, the tax-free counter for tourists is located on the 7th floor. When you check out, simply present your passport at the tax-free counter and the staff will assist you with the paperwork and deduct the tax. Note that there is a usual minimum spending requirement, typically around 5,000 yen, to qualify for tax-free shopping all around Japan. A lot of things that... A lot of sweets. Yeah. You're going to get diabetic. No. If you're coming here. <laughs> and try all of them. Oh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes? Yeah. Okay. What? So Heavy? Too, too much. Hmm. <laughs> I oh, said Pikachu. She said the, that you can share it. Pikachu biscuits. Oh, look how the design looks like. Perfect. Yeah. And mochi. I mean, I would like to try all of them, but too many choices and for me it's too... Oh, look, matcha. Chocolate. I have to take one. Chocolate matcha. matcha. 
No more. Uh, are we taking one? Or yeah. do you want this one? It's with matcha too. Sticks. Everything which is with matcha, I mean. Okay, let's t let's take two. Okay. Okay. Ah, I think it's chai. With matcha. With matcha. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You like this? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll thank you. a present for you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank Arigato. you. <laughs> Arigato. By the way, Anna huh? speaks uh, very good Japanese. No, I don't. <laughs> for more gifts. <laughs> Let's look for more This gifts. is the second floor, so go to the third one. There is a third uh, one? I don't know, it's, it's to get um, younger. Younger? Yeah. I think I found, I just found the... Elixir of... Japanese uh, uh, style of uh, Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Please tell me if this guy is looking or not like <laughs> Pablo Escobar. But he can look like Charlie Chaplin as well, when he was young. Yeah. It's one of them. Should I buy a pair of this? Of course, it's very sexy. But find one with your uh, initial, uh, with E. I don't want e. another initial. Look, you have any more print as well if you want to be more uh, wild. Nice. We discovered the <laughs> secret of not snoring in the night. Or not sleeping especially, with uh, the open mouth. The... Yeah, especially for the ladies, because yeah. it's for the ladies, looks like. It's to stick your mouth. mouth. <laughs> Seal your mouth, better said. Nice, I think I should buy a pack of this because <laughs> I'm snor snoring sometimes. If she's not buying, I'm gonna buy for her. Yes. <laughs> I hope it's not working. <laughs> I hope it will. Now we try the sweets with matcha. Sorry. We don't rush. We don't rush, but I think I... It's good. It's like um, chocolate. With matcha. Oh. For me as well. It's good, no? And we have another one. If everyone thinks that Japan or Tokyo is clean, they have issues as well. They have rubbish on the streets. I was not expecting this, to be honest. It's not so bad. It's not so bad, but I mean, I was not expecting to find rubbish on the streets. Maybe, I don't know. I'm having issues, can you do it? Oh. Open. Do the tasting too. You see, it's open, here. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Pocky sticks with matcha. Not bad. I think this one have um, uh, the taste of matcha on this one is a little it's bit stronger. stronger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But after. about Tokyo is that humidity. it's very hot and the humidity I think it's 95% so you're sweating like crazy and it's like oh, it's almost October yeah. so it's super super hot yeah Now 
we are crossing the street. On the left side is uh, Shibuya. Yes. And on the other side is Shinjuku. Shinjuku. And yet today is Saturday, that's why <laughs> probably it's so busy. Shinjuku truly embodies the dynamic spirit of Tokyo, blending the modern with the traditional and offering endless options for exploration and entertainment. Strawberry. Very, very. Everything looks delicious. But I think they are toys, no? Yeah. Or you can actually eat this? No, I think you can eat them. As we stroll down the narrow, usually quiet streets, we heard something unusual, cheers and shouts. Naturally, we follow the sound and stumble upon a lively maturi, a festival. I don't know, I have to see. Can we follow them? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> It's like a drum. Yeah. They are beating the drum there. So, so, what's happening here? What's this festival? What's happening? Uh, it's a <laughs> festival? Yeah, festival. 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 Yeah. It's kind of festival. Party yes, we like it. <laughs> and the noise, the drums. Yes. What's meaning? It, it, for what is it? For a god or for something? For nature? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for god and uh, for people. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. For town and for community. Oh, okay. And everything? Everything to yeah. be good. Yeah. No good. <laughs> it's nice because we've checked if there are any festivals online and they they say there's no festival maybe this one is local for this region yeah or i don't know thank you happy we should we should have asked what's the name of the festival we are one of them now <laughs> One of the main features of neighborhood festivals is the Miyoshi Parade, where locals carry a portable shrine throughout the streets to bring good luck and fortune to the area. This is often followed by chanting, music and drum performances. And all the visitors are welcome to participate. I don't know what they are saying, but they put a lot of passion in. Yeah. <laughs> but now let's take a short break to show you how did we get from the airport to our accommodation and how a small room in central Tokyo looks like. After you land, you must have two things settled: your transport and internet connection. So when you first arrive, you need to purchase these cards, travel cards. Suica from JR. Yes, the f you can buy one with 2000 yen or 1000, but you will need to top up anyway after. But if you want to uh, use the public transport, the first thing that you need to do is to get this card. You can find multiple cards, and you need to have like an e SIM card. Uh, to use internet straight away so yeah let's go and find our train trains that way Thank you. 
Smells nice. Caution. Really? Yes. Oh. Actually, I just want to close it. Yes. Yeah, this way. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Let's see how the room is like in the room four, five, three. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> Are you tired? Yeah. It smells like uh, stuff air. We can't fit two people. Oh shit. Sure. Look how big is the room here. Oh. The bed is in the window. <laughs> You don't like it? No, it's good because the bed is big, I don't buy it and the room is small. It's okay because we don't spend the time in our room. It's in the toilet. Wow. Wow, it has buttons. <laughs> On both ways. Nice. Shower? There's a shower, no? Oh, bathtub. Have you seen the bathtub? How, yeah, it's a traditional small, one. How small it is. Yeah, it's a Japanese style. Yes. It's good. We paid 269 pounds for three nights. Yeah, with uh, breakfast, if you are international traveler. So, uh, this is the view. Can we open the window? No, because no? people are jumping. No. Oops. We open the window. <laughs> you need to open from both ways at the same time. Yeah. So that's Tokyo with folk. <laughs> and we have pajamas or kimonos, I think they are. Yes. It's not pajama, it's kimono. The first kimono <laughs> from many others that we will try probably. I mean, I think mostly every hotel offers something like this. Apparently, I'm not sure if it's hundred percent true. We will discover. We'll wait and see. But yeah, nice, nice touch. Okay, now let's get back to our adventure. I must say that we love the Japanese streets, the exposed wiring, the cleaning lens and the aesthetics in general. It feels cozy and did you notice how quiet was on the trains? If you like walking and to discover different parts of the places you are visiting and not only the touristic landmarks, we are sure that you will enjoy a place like this one. So this is a shrine. And the difference between a shrine and a temple is that the shrines are worshipping the gods of nature and temples are, are worshipping Buddha. And the shrines, you recognize them by the um, gate and the way to worship the gods is to bow, to ring the bell, to clap and to give an offering like a to pull out for a coin or something coins like. yes oh. 
Otonomori Hachiman Shrine is a charming Shinto shrine located in the western portion of the Tokyo metropolis, and it's known for its close community atmosphere, beautiful seasonal events, and its dedication to Hachiman, the god of war and protector of Japan. Did you know that Tokyo was a fishing village? What do you what know? Do I know? Of course. Is the uh, largest uh, capital, most populated uh, capital. Yeah. With uh, more than 37 uh, millions of people. And they have 23 districts or yeah. 23 areas. Yeah. Which are very different. Every area is different from the other yeah. one. Yeah. So it's huge. I think these ones are Japanese made. This smells a bit of almond. Yeah. No? A bit. At the end, the after smell. Nose shop. Yeah. Your, your new favorite? Matcha Matcha Castella. Okay, what do you have here? Ching ching! You want me to taste? What? Don't tell me you like matcha. No, the whole thing is super nice. So you like matcha? It's coffee with the. Um, it's co taste of coffee with taste of uh, matcha. matcha. She doesn't Try like it. matcha. Try it. It's very good. No? Yeah. I told you. No, I like it. It's nice. I was not expecting it. It's nice. She likes matcha now. Yeah. But we have the surprise, surprise. Matcha. Yes. It's matcha, matcha. Matcha jam. Very good matcha. After we've enjoyed the matcha coffee and the waffle, we headed to the most iconic and tranquil shrines in Tokyo, Meiji Jingo. Set in a lush forest right in the heart of bustling Shibuya, is dedicated to Emperor Meiji and Empress Shoken. The main Tori gate at Meiji Jingu is one of the largest in Japan standing at about 40 feet tall, made from a 1,500 year old cypress wood. Despite being in Tokyo, Meiji Jingu is surrounded by a massive forest with over 100,000 trees of 365 species, all donated from across Japan. You can try your luck here and see what is the destiny trying to tell you throughout these numbers. Put 100 yen. Yeah, and you take one of this and... No, you need to shake it and then they tell you the number. Shake it, shake it. Yeah, 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 yeah it's coming. Get it like that. 21. My lucky number is 21. Yeah. Oh, I cannot take it out. I have yeah, to pull it back. Yeah, yeah. 
21 is up here. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, on the other side, maybe it says something in English. Yes, even if you fail to keep up with others on your life journey, do not fail to treat onwards on your own rightful path. Uh, and it's home that the poem message based on traditional Shinto ethics will have particular meaning for you. Uh, it means that um, you need to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Keep walking. Journey walker. Yeah. Nice. I need to do it as well. Okay. Shake it well, baby. <laughs> No, put it back. <laughs> this is a sign. 22. Okay. It's with yellow. I think it's but like yours was white. Yeah. Okay, so it has this design on it. It's like lemons. Small lemons, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> No matter how heavy a burden we may have to bear, we must be aware that these human hearts of ours should be full of ample strength. No, but it's nice. It's so nice. what do you think? It's good or bad? I think it's more like they give you an advice how to live your life. They don't yeah. say if it's bad luck or good luck. I think it's just to how, you live, how to live your life. You can't take photos inside there. So this is the best that we can do from here. A fun fact about this place is that the visitors can write their wishes on Emma, a wooden prayer plaque, and hang them at the shrine. Some wishes are serious while others are super cute and even funny. It's interesting to stroll through and see what people from all around the world are wishing for. Here you can put your stamp. Yeah. At every landmark, including this shrine, you should find this kind of stamp. So if you love to keep a journal, it will be perfect to have it with you. So you can have a unique stamp mark. Kind of. No more ink, yeah. Two important aspects that you need to remember when you're coming to Japan and Tokyo, I'm not sure about other places, is that when you have a toilet, don't miss to use it because you will not find toilets everywhere. And secondly, you will not find rubbish bins. So if you are taking a lot of uh, snacks with you or drinks. bottles of yeah bottles of drinks, you need to keep them. You need to have like a bag or you need to store them until you find a bin to throw them away. Otherwise, no bins. So keep in mind this. <laughs> It's quite busy as well. It's very busy. It's like long done. When you come, when you come out for drinks. Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super busy. We need to go on the other side. Traditional. Uh, Traditional. Yeah. I mean, we are the only foreigners. foreigners yes. And we order a lot of 
things. Yeah, and when you get in every restaurant, you get uh, these uh, uh, hot towels hot to towel. clean yeah. your hand and your mouth, and yeah. Mm-hmm. And we order something, but it's full of content. She's very good with drinks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. It's strong, no? It's strong. It has 16 degrees alcohol, so it's yeah. above wine. We need to eat to drink this. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a fizzy drink without bubbles. What? Like a fizzy drink without bubbles. That's that's the feeling that you get. Yeah. Yeah. We order some edamame as well. Let's see the food. Arigato. <laughs> So, uh, so we've paid five thousand nine hundred and forty Yes, meaning uh, around thirty pounds. So it's okay because we had two two drinks, two good sakes, drinks, good drinks. We are a bit tipsy. And we had the sushi. A lot of food. A lot of food, yeah. So yeah. it's okay. It's not that bad. For Godzilla fans, Godzilla is trapped there. Next to the tower that is going and going and going. I've noticed something. What? I've noticed that a lot of elderly people are still working if they if they are older than 60. Like yeah. No, a lot of security guards security, yeah. or the chefs, like the gentleman that w- was uh, making our sushi. He was all like probably the same age as my grandfather, so in his 80s. So, yeah, it's because I don't know, maybe they have financial problems or they like to work or they don't have. Or maybe the young generation don't want to work. Or the younger generation they don't want to work, yeah. But it's quite interesting to see a lot of elderly people working still. And I'm sure we will see many others as well. It's been a long day. Very long one. We walked around 20,000 steps or more. Yeah. So from Shibuya Station, we wish you good night and see you in the next episode. See you. Good night. If you are good boys.